I would say this is a generation that doesn't have any compromises. If somebody has an idea, they have the ability to, to run with it and prove that it's the right idea. We didn't have to trade off a lot to get what we came out with. Everyone knew this was important. Uh, everyone pushed really hard, and I think we nailed it. I like to think of ILO, when we think about the analogies for ILO, it's like your onboard ambassador. It's the guy who sits there on your server and he can control your power, he can control video, he can control security access to that server. He helps with the booting, he helps if there's a problem, he lights LEDs on the system, so he's really the guy who's, that's on the board that's your ambassador. I mean, everything that needs to go on with the server, from health to lighting LEDs to making beeps, um, all comes from ILO. You can roughly say that, that what we're doing is we're embedding the smart start right on the server. And that means that the only thing you actually need in order to bring the server up or deploy the server is actually the OS disk. With HP, one of the things that we still do is we still invent things. And so our ASIC team is in this same building with my firmware team and the ASIC is custom designed to be the perfect management processor for an HP server. ILO speaks uh, SNMP for management. We speak the web services protocol for our embedded remote support. We speak uh, a variety of you know, other little acronym languages to the parts that are on the, the server. And so it is important that we comply with standards and work with the interfaces that our customers expect. And they'll help us know what they are. The customer tells us, hey, here's how I'd like to be communicating with an HP server. And so we take their input and that's how we you know, know what are the different protocols and standards that we need to support. Agentless management is going to be a big winner with our customers. They're going to love it. I talked to a lot of customers. They're going to be totally fired up about this. We don't have to wait for agents to load. No longer do I have to have an operating system up or, or agents loading in order to do the typical work that we need in management. So it's a, it's a big leap forward not only in having less stuff run on the processor and less firmware to manage, but it also ultimately means we can manage our systems from the moment power is plugged into the wall. Immediately when you plug the, the, the system in, it's smart enough to start talking with an intelligent being outside, and once you get that OS running, as soon as something bad happens, we call it a bump in the night, um, a hard drive goes bad, a fan fails, a power supply fails, immediately that server can through ILO say, I've had a problem, um, either go ahead and dispatch a part for me because I'm broken, I can still limp along for a day or so here, but send me a part, or it can actually say, I'm going down and here was the issue that brought me down and now you'll have the information you need to come fix me before you even come see me on site, you'll already have my diagnosis information. We're really excited about doing the mobile app. You can be sitting anywhere with your mobile device. You, know, you always have your phone with you. A lot of times you have your tablet with you. And one of our customers is sitting in an airport and there's a problem, they can just hook right up using their phone, check out what's going on on their server and resolve it right there. So it really is ILO everywhere. We not only have ILO on every server, we have ILO in the palm of your hand. It's your laptop, your desktop. I do think that ILO leads the pack with our innovation. There's no doubt in my mind about that and our Gen 8 features are going to knock their socks off.